All right, hello and good morning. Back on Tower Unite again. Uh, I want to farm up some Halloween coins this video. Uh, probably just hang out in the plaza get them. But I figure, you know, kind of before I do that, let's kind of check out what new condos we got. There are a few up there. But we're going to check out Vampire Castle and the Foxhole. Um, the Foxhole looks like it might actually crash my game because it's kind of big. So I'm actually going to load this one up first and we're going to see. We got an idea. There are a lot of items, but we might be okay. Only a few items really kind of, or like a few condos really kind of kill my uh, my performance. But I think I saw the Daytona USA car was going to spawn in there. Which uh, makes me very excited. So let's see what we got here. Howdy all keyboard cowboys. Welcome to the, pers uh, welcome to the personal favorite of my condos. Is it a Halloween condo or Thanksgiving? Nope, just my little Automal Eden. Uh, Eden. It's also a remarkable... <clears throat> I can't read right now. I'm sorry. It's also a remake of the first house that I built from scratch in Tower Unite, Dixie Cabin Mark II. I originally made the outside scenery to enter the November 2020 condo contest, but was regrettably at work the afternoon of the deadline. It's been almost a year since then, but I finally reached the point where I can't possibly think of any major new additions. Alright, so this is like a finalized thing. Okay, cool. Let's see what we got. Again, this is called The Foxhole. Harrington Height, Gamers Respite. Wow. Mount Mofu's over here, huh? I don't see no mountain. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Yeah, I figure we'll just kind of check out these two condos. So I'm just going to go get, get some coins. Twin Peaks! Hell yeah, dude. I haven't watched Twin Peaks in so long, but I love Twin Peaks. Yep, we got a Daytona USA car. We got the, uh, we got the Hornet. And super high res. That makes me happy. I love Daytona USA so much. Such a fun game. Got an RV. Very hollow RV, but still an RV. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay, this is pretty cozy. This is honestly very cozy. But how is the house going to be looking? Whoa, that's trippy. Dude, we got Bojangles? I've never had Bojangles. I've only ever seen Waffle House, but I've never actually gone in it. We got Austin Powers. Beautiful. Beautiful fishing. Sonic ads. Wu-Tang Wu Clan. Aesthetic Island. A lot of people love that condo. It's pretty cool. What's in the fridge? Bananas. And Coke Vanilla is good, as is Coke, uh, Coke and Coffee Vanilla. Is my obsession. I've drank so much of it. I went seven years without drinking any soda. And this year I was like, I'll start having it again. Why not? Not not much, but you know, every now and then. Then I discover Coke and coffee and I've had so much of it. But now I'm out. And I really don't want to buy any more for my own health. Hey look, a boiler room. I don't know if that does anything, but we pressed them. Your little table of anime girls. Cool. We got pizza. I don't know those little Caesars. Can I puke that out? Nice soda machine. Let's go up here. Okay. What do we got? We got some billiards. I hope they make these playable in condos. A Daytona USA poster. Again, such a great game. Got the laundry. We got some trash in there. It's on the balcony. Just a hot tub? Okay, that's cozy. We even got a loft. Okay, I'll check out the loft last. Okay. Again, very cozy. <gasps> we got. A I love the fact this person loves the Sega Saturn like me. Well, it's just Sega in general. But it always makes me happy seeing a Sega Saturn. I'm so happy. No controllers, though. We'll never know if he has the Model 1 pad or the Model 2. The questions that will never be answered. Alright, there's really nothing up here, just Christmas decorations. Okay. So I guess we can check the back of the house. And door, we got a little generator. A little camp down here, and out. That actually almost scared me, but then it didn't. Do we have the full image in there? Hold. I'm seeking it. Nope, it's just the head. Damn it. 
All right, so I think that's the entire house here. Actually, I really like that. That's kind of cozy. A little bit of memory, but for the most part, like it's a it's a serious little condo you can go into. And it seems very, very cozy. If I were to install it myself, I'd probably get rid of like the anime girls around the table. Maybe get rid of the Bojangles. And just have like a nice little cozy little chat room kind of condo going. It's probably what I would do. I like it. It's nice. I also like the little plane coming down. And the artwork. The artwork's nice too. Alright. I'll give that a thumbs up. Sure. That's nice. Well done. Uh, explore creation. Subscribed. And the other one is Vampire Castle. Which just says Dark Design. And again, as with the condos, especially of this size and this magnitude, it's very possible that it could crash my game. But it looks like we are in the clear. So we're good. Yeah, we're good. Alright. We're kind of walled in. I can't leave. Okay. Got a few doors. I'll go on the main door that we first saw here. Let's see what we got. Okay. So it's just going to be a little bit of like a gothic design. Okay. Brooding rubber ducky. Okay. What's in here? Got a knight or a Dark Souls boy. Statue. Okay. Oh, I, I like that image. That's actually a really cool image. I'd actually put that on my wall. I like that. Is there much else to it than this? To say. Little dining room. So it's like really like just like three mini rooms, or just like three rooms all inter just all connected by the outside. Okay. Pretty tiny. Nice little theming. Not much to this one though. Did I get like a exterior view? Okay. That's how they built it. Alright. And nothing too crazy going on here. Not bad. Not bad. I do think they probably like need to... Because this feels more like a hotel, in a way. Or something. Like, I think, like, the indoor rooms really need to be, like, connected some way. And I think they could definitely, like, flesh upon it. Or, like, increase upon it. Maybe, like, add, like, a second floor. Or maybe expand the rooms backwards. Rearrange them a bit. I think they got, like, three pretty nice rooms. But they, I feel like they gotta integrate this into, like, a more cohesive unit. But I think it's actually not too bad. Like, I like the theming. I think it looks nice. I like that little piece of artwork. Okay. I'll give that the thumbs up. Oh, I can't build for shit in this. I just kind of give criticisms, like, with what I say. And, like, what I'd like to say. But, like, I know I can't really do much better. But I think that's a pretty good framework. Alright, let's go get some coins. Why not? Ugh. Let me on the server game. I need to go on my plazas. My plaza. There we go. Connection to host has been lost. Is it reset server time? It could be a resetting server time. Let's see. Are we good? It never takes this long. Or some of the ser maybe some of the servers are just not working right. Let's say. Let's try West like this one. West four. West five. There we go. The servers are running a little bit slow here. A little bit very slow. Okay. But we are good to go. What's going on here right now? We have ghost hunting going? Yeah, sure. How much time ghost hunting has left? We'll go for it. Why not? Two minutes? Sure. This should be a nice quick... Uh... Quick coin, possibly. Maybe I'll bowl after this. Why not? Hey, there we go. Oh, that was a good streak, too. Oh, well. I will say, though, I'm, first pro uh, I'm in first place in this lobby so far. Very impressive, right? I 
And then easy being the absolute best. I probably should really go for like the higher ones though, like there. Like I'm not sure if it's like more like point effective to go for higher up or just keep the combo going. Like, I don't think I'll ever know. I mean, it's 185 right there for, like, one of those long shots. So maybe, like, a shot like... No, it's not. Maybe because I had a combo going. I really don't know. Give me my points. Okay. Cool. Any coin? Hey. I'm really slacking on the coins so far. I haven't like really sat down to play this event at all since I recorded the uh, the video on it. How many coins? I have ten coins. I need to grind so many out. I will say one thing really disappoints me uh, that I didn't point out in the video, but they don't have the blood ocean. If you've never played tower before during a Halloween event, usually the ocean becomes like this blood red and it just, it just looks like a blood ocean. So I kind of wish that was here this year. I don't know why they got rid of that. That was actually one of the cooler, like unique theming parts of the Halloween event with the plaza. I don't know why I didn't point that out, but yeah, that's missing, which kind of bums me out. But yeah, what can you do? Let's pull. I'll take this one. We'll kind of talk about the games I've been playing and whatnot and just kind of chill out as I try and get some coins. Got 20 seconds? Sweet. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I haven't played this event too much. Uh, I kind of, like, went over it last video. I do kind of wish there was some more unique stuff to do. Um, like, the Halloween event's still really awesome. I think, like, the new items are cool. I do think for new players, like, it's going to be really fun, like, checking out the maze and doing the quests and stuff. Um, I just wish there was, like, something else for people that have played the prior years to kind of do. I feel like their Halloween events are so cool. Maybe just not on repeat, though. Oh, well. But speaking of uh, Halloween and horror stuff, I uh, I played through Tormented Souls. I finished that up earlier. That game was actually pretty okay. Um, I went into it expecting it, I think, to be a... L if I open up with a sentence, it's going to sound like I didn't like it. But I was expecting it to be better than it was. Because I was hearing so many people say, you know, it was like the... The best love letter to Resident Evil, Silent Hill, and, like, Alone in the Dark, like, classic ones. It reuses a lot of the old mechanics, makes its own cool thing. And, like, it's a pretty cool game. Um, if you haven't looked at it yet, uh, it's a game that's out on Steam, getting, and it's coming out to GOG. I don't know if there's a console version or not. But it's more or less like a, uh, a love letter uh, to those old-school survival horror games. You can do tank controls if you want, but there's also, like, regular analog movement as well. Um, it involves being a girl that gets a letter in the mail, and it kind of alludes you to, like, this, uh, this hospital, and you get banged over the head, and you wake up, like, missing an eye, and, like, you're naked in a bathtub. And then survival horroring starts, like, where you gotta go around and, like, manage your inventory, collect ammo, don't waste it, there's, like, evil people, like, running all around. Um, you gotta solve a whole bunch of puzzles. The game's very much puzzles. And, like, unlocking doors and, like, slowly progressing through the hospital and backtracking when you get items... Like, it's very much, if you ever played, like, the first Resident Evil, like, it's very similar to the first Resident Evil, with a little hint of Silent Hill in it, and a lot of danger, like, in the dark. Like, it, it's pretty cool, but I think they made their puzzles a little bit too difficult for most players. I got through most of them, um, without needing a guide or needing help. Like, I, I could figure out a lot of them, but so many of them were very, like, much like puzzles like you'd think you would find, like, in an actual puzzle game. And not, like, a survival horror game. Like, they didn't feel like survival horror puzzles. They felt like legitimate, what the hell, this is breaking my brain puzzles. Which I think kind of took me out of the horror element a bit. But, um, it was pretty good. Uh, combat was clunky. But, I mean, it's kind of like what you expect out of a game like that. And I'm unsure if I like the fact they kind of use, like, the Resident Evil ink ribbon system. Because you get to find, like, uh, reel-to-reels, like, uh, like, like, tape reels. And put them, like, in a recorder. Or, like, a tape player to, like, save your game. So, very much like the old ink ribbons of Resident Evil. Um, 
early on you barely have any and then by late game you can just keep saving so it's like when you really need to save quite often because you have nothing to work with and you're gonna die pretty quick and lose progress um you have nothing and then like when you're fully kitted out and like you can get caught back up like in a minute you have stu you have way too many it's like a weird like imbalance there but I, I think overall, like, visually, audio, like, sound design, and, like, story-wise, and, like, general idea-wise, it's very good. Um, it just needed a little bit more polish. But it's pretty good. It's, ni it's a nice little nod to those old survival horrors. Uh, there's another one that just came out, too, that I really want to check out, called uh, Them and Us. That game looks really good. Um, so, uh, it might just be a little bit too expensive for right now, but I gotta check that out. And I'll also be trying out In Sound Mind on my stream pretty soon. Which I've been looking forward to for a while. I was just kind of waiting for them to patch up some PC issues. And now they have, so... I'm ready to play that one. A lot of cool horror games. Uh, Itch.io, there's like these developers on Itch.io. And for the last year or two, I've been releasing this thing called Haunted PS1 Demo Disc. And it's like a compilation of like 20, almost like Game Jam kind of games. Uh, with a bit of like a horror twist on it. Uh, that kind of like resembles a PlayStation 1 Demo Disc. And I kind of want to play the new one. They're all free, by the way. If you go on itch.io, like, you just search, like, Haunted PS1 Demo Disc. There should be, like, two or three of them for the last couple of years. Uh, and it's really cool. And the new one just launched, so I want to check that out. I, I love my, like, my random, like, indie free stuff in itch.io. You can find some really cool stuff. See, a lot of, there's, like, no shortage of stuff for me to check out. House of Ashes is out in, like, nine days. The Super Animal Royale Halloween event starts in, like, tomorrow. So... That's stuff for me to check out. That may have been too much spin. No, that was good. Perfect. So basically what I'm saying is uh, video games are fun. Very, very fun. I also played another game too, but I forget if I talked about it on video. Uh, so I'll just... I, I, actually, I don't think I did. It's a game called Chasing Static. Uh, came out a few days ago. It was by a solo developer. Uh, it's pretty much a walking simulator. Uh, not super linear, but still a walking simulator mixed with Silent Hill. No jump scares, nothing like that. It's just like an uneasy, tense environment. Typical setup, you show up in a town, because you had to like go there for a funeral. Something's completely off, and the next thing you know, like you're like in this freaking horrific version of it. And like you gotta figure out what's going on, like why you're having like certain visions, and like just kind of solve the mystery of the town. Really good game, it's like two, three hours long. Uh, I was very into it from start to finish. Like, very into it. I think the solo developer did an, just an excellent job. It looks like an upscaled PS1 game. Like, if you said this was a survival horror game on the PlayStation 1, and it was just put in emulator and upscaled, I'd believe you. It looked really nice. It, it, it nailed exactly what it was going for. And the story wasn't half bad. Um, but yeah, Chasing Static. It was just, if you want, like, a PS1-styled... Kind of like first person walking simulator Silent Hill sort of thing that isn't out to like terrify you, but like more, you know, kind of make you uneasy. Good game. I enjoyed it. Quite a bit. Oh, I almost got it. Damn. I almost got that spare. Oh, I'll take a 157 just for sitting here bullshitting. Why not? Cool. Man, I almost franked up. I almost got my throwing bowling ball. Throw ball. I'm going to queue up again just to kind of get that, uh, Throwable bowling ball, but I'm not going to do a full run. I kind of like want to go into the arcade for a quick minute, play some Candy Slam. The ultimate Halloween game, you know? Let's do this. How's this guy doing? How's Conquer? I freaking love Conquer. I was too far away. What? Conquer, how are you doing? Oh, you're not doing too good now, are you, Conquer? Alright, I'm going to guess they're going to finish up with a 134. Maybe more. Hurry up. Was that it? Was that the end? Oh, that was the end. Never mind. 127. I was close. Alright, let's get the last of my, uh, my XP. Unless I get, like, onto a turkey or something, then I'll continue. But I doubt that's gonna happen. Oh god, we already have a strike. That wasn't supposed to happen. And Pumpkin Blast is about to start. This is quite tragic. I just wanted my throwing ball, throwable bowling ball, but I might get stuck in a good match. 
Why does this have to happen right now? I don't know. Really want to do Pumpkin Smash. Got myself a silver trophy, though. That can go in my house. Screw it. Can we make it a turkey? I don't think I got enough spin. So no, we cannot. If I don't spare this, I'm not going to bother. Let's see. Damn it. <laughs> I'm so upset. I don't want to spare it, dude. I want to play Pumpkin Smash. But no, I gotta have like a good run of bowling. I hate being successful. Heck. It's the worst day of my life. Please miss this. For love of God, please miss this. I gotta smash pumpkins. No. Whenever I want to do bad, I do good. Whenever I do good. I don't know where I'm going with the phrasing. Just gonna... Do a bit of that. Yep, this is, this is just gonna be like a... No open frame round. At least I got the throwing, uh, throwable bowling ball. Like, I got that going for me. That's pretty legit. At this point, the minigame's probably almost over. It's no point in really sandbagging myself anymore, either. Do I have 85 right now? 94? Okay. Just a minor amount of spin. Should be good. Yep, that should be another easy spare. Um, just a little spin to the left, not much. But just enough to hit both of them. Are you... F I'm actually mad. I'm actually kind of mad that missed. This is like supposed to be like my god run. And then I soiled it. Oh, it's over. Any good this run had is officially gone. Feels bad, man. Nope. This is gonna finish off as like a 140. This is gonna be like a one, uh, more than a 140. This is probably like a 160. At least I got some good coinage. Now I'm just like haphazardly throwing the ball, hoping for the best. Somehow that worked. <laughs> okay. If I get a turkey though, I mean, I could convert this to a 200 if I strike out the rest. I still have yet to get my 200 in this game. Oh, come on. Not getting it this time now. Ah, oh, well. I will say I will be sufficiently bowled out in a minute. Okay. Good, good. Yeah. You if I get a turk if I get a turkey, I forget if the multiplier will actually knock me where I gotta go, but I don't foresee yeah, no turkey. It's not happening. I can spare strike it, which will take me to what like one seventy. That's about it. Or I'll gutter this. Nope, no gutter. Good thing. 
It wasn't a bad game. I just feel like it could have been, you know? This could have been the one. What, we got like 169? 177? Okay. Not bad. I'll take it. Alright. So we got going on? Nothing on the plaza right now. Okay. We got a character visit in two and a half minutes. So I guess we'll play uh, some Candy Slam. And uh, maybe go to the Halloween character visit in like two minutes and probably call it. Alright, Candy Slam. Let's go. Five hundred's the score to beat to get on the uh, leaderboard for the week. Not happening this round. Definitely not happening. That's okay. I'll get like three. We're gonna put another guess in. I'm gonna get three twenty-five this game. Three twenty-five seems very accurate. More than that now. Three fifty. Four. Wow, I'm surprised I got four hundred five. Wow. All right. Well, that means this one's gonna be three eighty. Cause I can't have two four hundreds in a row in this game. Who knows? I want to see like what a 500 run in this looks like. Because I've only ever seen like mid 400s. I've never had stuff spawn in a way where like 500s even doable. So I'd love to see it. Oops. My god, I almost got it. I was like, I want to see a 500 run, then I actually literally got it. Do I try one more time? We'll try one more time. Because then it's character visit time. Let's do it. That was going to be the run of runs. To be honest, I don't even know if you even get um coins in the arcade. I forget if you do. I think you did last year. I think you did. But the memory is a wee bit fuzzy. Hey Blade, I know you're watching. Can you comment if I actually get coins in here? If I don't find out by the end of this? So we got a ca we got a character visit to do. Oh man, wait, 308. That's it. Old. One quick stack them. I think I can bang out 308 in one go. It's been a while. But maybe that. Never mind. We're not gonna bother. If I can't even do level one, nope, nope. We're finding that character. I'm out. See if I can find the character. Where are they at? There you are. I hate this one so much. I got a candy bucket. Wow. And where am I at now? I'm at 13 gold coins. I got so many to go. But at least I got like a month to get everything I need. That's not bad. But I guess we can kind of like call it there. I think it's a, a good calling point on this beautiful tower night, huh? Uh, so I guess, you know, thank you guys very much for watching. That was some fun condoing. That was some good bowling. I'm sad I missed pumpkin shoot, but you know, I had to bowl. Some good candy slamming. Some good coin collecting. Just good everything. So uh, 
I guess next video I'll just keep grinding out coins. Maybe I'll do coins like in the uh, the game world. I don't know. We'll see what I do. But I'm, that's going to do it for me right now. Y'all have a lovely day. Catch you guys again in the next video. And as always, toodles, y'all.